it's about 5 p.m. on Saturday, March 18th, 2023. Let me hold the mic a little different. It's about 50 degrees outside, lots of sunlight, clear skies, lots of wind from the north. And apparently it's going to freeze tonight. Get down to 30 degrees. And Sunday night, it's not going to freeze after. This morning, I told you Sunday night, tonight. This evening, I'm saying tonight. So, here we have a nice... Uh, visual demonstration of what the cows did. <clears throat> the grass that hasn't been eaten is reflecting the light very well. So let's look down this lane. Let's see if there's a difference between giving them 100 feet versus 200 feet. So let's look down this wire. <clears throat> so the stuff on the right is three and a half days old. The stuff on the left was grazed this morning doesn't seem any different to me. Maybe a little bit more on the right, just a tiny bit. I can't really tell. Uh, two of my cows now are down by the pen with the bulls in it. I was hoping to move the bulls into their own row with the sheep, but unfortunately, uh, the moms being there means I can't do that. And I tried to herd the moms back, but they were very reluctant to come back here. So now, um, I think I'm just gonna wait them out. Just wait and see what they do. Eventually they'll give up. Um, this cow right here, this longhorn, and blue I think are the other two moms. And the cow's down at the fence is number six and uh, dusty, right? So, this area has quite a bit more grass than the previous cell. The grass is thicker and darker too. Uh, here's some more of those weeds. That weed won't survive for long, I bet. But look at this. It's all over the place like this. Nice and thick. Here comes Blue again, looking for her calf. You can see one of the reasons they get upset is their udders get full of milk. She's probably in a lot of pain. Her calf was six months old. I don't know why her calf is drinking so much milk still. You can see she's eating the uh, hairy vetch and the grass, so. <laughs> Pro probing my defenses to see if there's a way through. Yeah, the wire's a little bit low there, but... <laughs> Are you upset, Blue? You're kind of scaring me, Blue. You're getting too close to me. Look at that grass. You can see her bag is full of milk and the teats are taut. That's probably a phrase you can't see on YouTube. Um, she's in a lot of discomfort right now. And it's the same for the other one, too. Bag is full of milk. There's a lot of tension there. Let's see if she'll let me look at it. If I had a milking rig and they were docile enough, I could probably hook them up to the milking rig and get some milk out of them, but I understand uh, milk from meat cows isn't that great. Not just the quantity, but the flavor is quite a bit different than what we're used to. So, yeah, that's where we're at. The rest of the cows don't care. Here's old 21. So this is not uh, fur rubbing off, it might be lice that's biting them. Those little patches of missing fur. So, some of the, uh, the that one has it too, on the neck. Huh, anyway. All right guys, have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.